Good morning, all you wonderful people out there. All you junkies. Oh, you got the Bush Garden junkies again. <laughs> and if you notice, yeah, I'm already hot and sweating and got in a nice fast ride on Iron Wazi. But it, it's still too hot, so guess where we're going? chickens are either in the water or in the shade they have the greatest idea in the world we're gonna go into the shade and in the water they redid another portion of the sidewalk here they're definitely doing some nice work getting rid of a little cracks and bumps. Beware when you pass the Sesame Street area because this area will be transforming. Hollow Scream this year from September 8th to October 31st. Don't forget to get your tickets early and save. Now, it doesn't look like too much has changed in this area. Still have the same decorations here. There's definitely going to be something with some black lighting, I think. Now, this, I believe, was uh, in the Penguin Point area before. So they moved it right over here. It'll probably have a whole bunch of fairies and stuff like that. Definitely, definitely, uh, definitely a hot day. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, I got wet by Shikra and I'm already starting to sweat again. I don't know what's up with this. But, um, yeah, so the, one of the best things is stay hydrated, keep cool. And, uh, well, we're coming into another area that's getting transformed here. And, uh, yeah, all of Jengala is going to turn into a graveyard, I think. We have some graves over here. Hi, Luna. Where's your boyfriend, Luna? <laughs> nice teeth. Oh. Play hide and seek with magic? Huh? Yeah, never heard of it. I'm going to look for something over. Oh, she's going to put her hand right there? Oh. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? 
Maju over here is getting his checkup. Maju! Hey, Maju! call that is that just like a regular morning checkup what we just did yeah we delivered meds to them oh okay yeah so again we will always check them up but they were already checking the in the building but we clean we have people fixing stuff in there so we had brought these guys out right away mm -hmm. so we came and medicated them ah okay now i noticed uh, like interaction with them oh yeah, uh, yeah. just uh, like checking their teeth Absolutely. and stuff we want to make sure they get their dental their oral hygiene out of the way and then we get them Make sure they start the day right. Thank you very much. Hey, Madju, where's your wife? Hey. I think he likes taking his medicine. <laughs> Maju! Maju! Hey, Maju! Check back in on Luna over here. Where'd she go? Over there. Hi, Luna. Hi. No? Okay. A nice little visit with Maju and uh, Luna. They're so cute. Uh, un unfortunately, they were just interactive with the um, trainers, not with the people. They were probably too busy eating on their snacks. Hi, Batari. Hi. Hi. How you doing, girl? You getting ready to take another nap or something? You what a beautiful girl you are. We're gonna have a special look now. We can only take a look through the window. We can't get in the room, but we can take a look through the window at the panel. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we are under weather condition red, which means all the rides here at Bush Gardens is closed. And, uh, well, typical Florida weather, we are raining. <laughs> so, Falcon's Fury is currently shut down. And, uh, well, we just wanted to take a look at the panel. It looked cool, didn't it? It's been so far an on and off day. They went from green to orange to red to purple to green to purple. Now we're in green again. And um, well, that means that the rides have opened up, but as soon as we got to Serengeti Flyer, it was temporarily shut down. I guess they're doing a test run right now to make sure it's still working properly. And we'll be on shortly. 
But yeah, this so far, uh, yeah, it's um, I have uh, two o'clock, and uh, the rain started coming in at about twelve o'clock, and uh, yeah, the park's been kind of like up and down for the past two hours with uh, a few of the isolated thunderstorms rolling through. One of them was very close. I could, we were sitting over at Falcon's Fury and we had a lightning strike that looked like it was in the North Velt and it was really close. And I said, okay, well, there we go. Instant purple. Sure enough, two seconds later, we were in purple. Yeah, so. It, it does seem to have driven away some of the crowds, but uh, we'll, we'll see when we get back to the front of the park. Also to note, uh, from what we've been hearing, Serengeti Flyer got rid of the mild mode and it's just strictly wild all the time now. Uh, we're waiting to get on before I can confirm that, but after we ride it, I will definitely confirm it with you guys, uh, whether or not the mild mode has been taken away for good. Well, folks, I just confirmed it with the ride ambassador here, Joshua. Serengeti Flyer is permanently in wild mode. No more mild mode in the morning. All the better fun. Yay! After a couple of hours of on and off rain and thunder and lightning, it's now hot and humid and sticky and uh well yeah we did have to wait a while for our serengeti flyer but once they actually opened up the ride it was like five minutes but now it's showing a 35 minute wait <laughs> so we're just gonna see how the rest of the park looks and probably catch a couple more rides and then we'll call it a day yeah, Bubba right up close here. And I think he got enough of the sun and now he's going to go into the shade or into the water. And his friend Jimmy is back there in the shade. What are you doing, Bubba? Big boy. Wow. Oh my god. I am. He's huge. Yeah, right. Moves like a What's the matter, Bubba? You forgot where the water was? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize how big <laughs> well, see you next week, Bubba. Yeah, 
got a nesting area back there and they need that to be quiet. Look at that, I got ya. <laughs> Just having a little fun playing around with the tuxedo birds. As usual. Yeah, I always like to see if they can follow my hand and that's so much fun watching them trying to eat my hand. Uh, even though uh, Cheetah Hunt said it was closed on the app, we are uh, just going to walk up that way because Montu only has a five minute wait. Yeah, I know, but it's And uh, needed to see if we can get an update on the construction of the shade area for the cheetah that's viewing. Yeah, there's a couple of cheetahs out way over there. And look at this. They actually added some posts. So this is gonna be a nice little shade area for our cheetah hunt, cheetah viewing. So pretty soon we'll have shade here just like we do at the flamingos. Looks like it's gonna be uh, kind of like an angled shade. passing cheetah hunt they were running an empty train and according to the app it says it's closed but the sign out front said 80 minutes but as we were passing it we heard an announcement saying that uh, they were temporarily closed now we did ride Montu because it was only a five minute wait Cobra's Curse started off with a 70 minute wait and then when we got off of Montu they closed it down due to technical difficulties and we're looking at the time for Cheetah Hunt is only 20 minutes so that will be uh, our next ride more than likely. Uh, Maggie is getting a time and we're going to probably hop on Cheetah Hunt and I'm going to check the time on Iangwazi before we get there and maybe get one more ride of Iron Gwazi in, and then um, so about a quarter after three, it's about time we head home. So we'll see what we got coming up on Iron Gwazi. And, uh, but yeah, the crowds did not leave when the rain stopped. Uh, actually, more people came in after the rain stopped. So, yeah. That's not how it's supposed to work. We had a nice ride on Cheetah Hunt. Um, when we got a time, there was a 20 minute wait. Now it's up to 35 minutes. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it's probably what, around 3.30? 
334. Yeah, it was close. I think that'll call it a day for us. And, uh, Ooh, well, guys, we got something new. If you really like our videos and you want to help to support us, we have a new button down at the bottom. It's a super thanks button. So along with the thumbs up and the red subscribe button, there's also a super thanks. So if you want to send us a little donation or something, uh, if you liked our content, well, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to make that red subscribe button gray turn it to gray because guess what we got some stuff coming up soon thank you all and we'll catch you on the other side See ya.